Today I will tell you a story of a boy named Taufik about how he managed to develop a perfect timetable for himself. So let's get started. Taufik's board exam is going to start within a few months, but still Taufik is not able to create a proper timetable for himself to study regularly every day. Because whenever Taufik decides to stay awake and study all night, he feels so sleepy at night. And when he decides to wake up early the next morning and study, his cushion hugs him so tightly that he just keeps on sleeping until noon. As a result, Taufik had been suffering from depression for quite some time. But then one day, after watching a video on how to plan a daily routine on YouTube, Taufik realized that he was making some big mistakes while planning his daily routine. And then Taufik decides that he will be correcting his mistakes one by one. First of all, Taufik decides that he will drop the idea of waking up early in the morning. The reason is that even if he feels very sleepy, he can still stay awake up to midnight. But in the morning, while he feels drowsy, he forgets about all those routines and timetables. Then getting out of bed becomes an impossible task for him. So he decided that from now on, he would go to bed at exactly 12 o'clock at night and try to get up by 8 o'clock in the morning, so that he gets 8 hours of sound sleep and he will also not get too late for his school. Another thing is that Taufik decides that from now on, he will have dinner at 8 o'clock at night because he has noticed that he feels drowsy just after eating at night. But once he can get rid of that drowsiness, he can stay awake for a long time thereafter. So he decides that after eating at 8 o'clock at night, when he would feel sleepy, he would go out for a night work along the road right in front of his house. This will help him to achieve his daily step count goal and also he will not feel sleepy after that. And after returning home, he will get fresh and sit down to study at 10 o'clock. And from 10 to 12 o'clock, he will just study uninterruptedly. By doing so, he will be able to study at least 2 hours daily and regularly. And on the holidays, when he does not have to go to the school, that is on those days when Taufik will be at home, he decides that he will take a bath exactly at 12 o'clock in the afternoon because even if it is a holiday, he usually wakes up by 11 o'clock in the morning. So he will not have any difficulty in waking up and going for a bath at 12 o'clock after having a comfortable breakfast. And he has noticed that just after taking a bath, he feels fresh and energetic. So he wisely decides that this time block he will use for studying on the holidays. After taking a bath in the afternoon on holidays, he will uninterruptedly study from 1 to 3 o'clock. In this way, on the holidays, apart from the night, he will study extra 2 hours more in the afternoon. So being able to create a solid routine like this, Taufik started feeling very much excited. But when Taufik started following this routine, then he faced one obstacle after another. The very next day was a holiday. So according to his plan, from 12 to 2 o'clock, in the afternoon and from 10 to 12 o'clock at night. A total of 4 hours he will be studying today. But at exactly 11.30 in the morning, Taufik's mother approached Taufik. Tafu beta, if you want to eat chicken curry at lunch, then go and buy some meat. It is almost impossible for him to restrain himself from eating delicious spicy chicken curry at lunch on the holiday. So he went to buy some meat. When Taufik returned home after buying meat, it was already past 12.30 and when he came out after taking a bath, it was already 1 pm. Taufik thought, it's already 1 o'clock, so little time left. I guess today also I have missed my routine for this chicken curry. After this, Taufik couldn't convince his mind to sit down for studying in the afternoon. Taufik knew it very well that he was not going to get his lunch before 3 o'clock that day. So if he wanted, he could have studied comfortably from 1 to 3 o'clock. But since he had decided the exact time block of 12 to 2 o'clock in his mind, his mind did not support him for even a little delay. On the same day, 
After eating at night and going for a walk down the road in front of his house, he suddenly met a friend and talked to him for quite some time. After his conversation, when Taufik returned to his house, it was already 10:30 p.m. As a result, Taufik could not follow the night routine just as his afternoon routine. From there, Taufik realized that if he makes a routine with an exact time block in his mind, he would never be able to follow it regularly. So what he did was he wisely changed the routine in his favor. He scheduled his study routine as per hours and not any exact time block. Like 2 hours after taking a bath in the afternoon and 2 hours before going to bed at night. And this way finally he solved the problem of fixing an exact time in his mind and not being able to follow it. The next night before going to bed when Taufik was studying suddenly a message came on his WhatsApp. He went to reply to the message and picked up the phone. And then about an hour later he left the phone. And even after putting down the phone he couldn't concentrate any more on his studies. Then Taufik realizes that if he studies sitting next to his phone it becomes very difficult for him to concentrate on his studies and that's how most of the days his study time gets wasted by sniffing on the phone so tofik decided that from now on while studying he will put his phone on silent mode and leave it in the drawer in the next room so this way finally he solved his phone related problem the next night he was feeling a little cold So Taufik thought that he should go to bed and wrap the clock around so he would study with ease. And then within 30 minutes Taufik fell asleep while studying. That day Taufik realized that it is not a good idea to study in bed. So the next night when he started feeling a little cold and drowsy while studying at the study table, he stood up from his chair and walked for 5 minutes on the balcony and came back to his study table. it warmed up his body and the feeling of laziness also disappeared this way he was able to concentrate on his studies again the next night while studying tofik noticed that after a while one thought after another kept on coming to his mind and this way unknowingly he regularly waste most of his study time thinking about some rubbish thing so to solve this problem tofik took out a blank page and while studying there he started to write down one by one all the thoughts that were coming on his mind and then he decided that after finishing studying he would have a look at the list before going to bed if there was anything important in it then he would think about it and clear it out before going to bed in this way he successfully managed to reduce the habit of getting distracted from studying in this way Taufik started solving one problem after another with the help of his intelligence and within a few days Taufik was able to create a perfect routine or timetable for himself so that he could study regularly every day always remember if you fail to make a perfect daily routine plan for yourself then you are planning to fail in life now it's time for the most motivating comment robert thanks for your feedback we are really happy to help you Please let me know in the comments what you think about this video and if you like it then share the video with your loved ones and help them to get a better life. Thanks for watching. More wisdom, more solution, better life.